Yeah, you're from Santa city. Cruz, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, so cool. You're a Santa Cruz native. SC local. So what was your guys' whole thing about Santa Cruz? You went to UCSC? Yeah. I went to UCSC. I flunked out. Oh I went God. to Cabrillo. Or what was the community college? Cabrillo, Cabrillo. yeah. I went, yeah, there, I went there, too. Maybe we went at the same time. You know, I had a better education there. I'm not even going to lie. Straight up, dude. Because that's the I, best. I did, because UCSC, all the classes had like 500 people in it. Clowns. <laughs> oh, your nose is... Oh, shit. There's tissue right there, right across from you. Bro, how did snock start coming out of your nose? Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was bad. There was a huge lube popping out of my boy's nose. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sick for a while, bro. Damn. <laughs> Just don't hit that faith. <laughs> <laughs> um, went to Santa Cruz. I, I lived there for like seven or eight years, man. So I was there for a while. Ela lived there with me for a year. Yeah. So I was curious, what it's was it like for you guys um, as non-locals in Santa Cruz? Were there any animosity yes. towards you? Was there any there kind was. of vicious locals coming after you? What was that like? Well, I wanted to ask you something similar because I no- I noticed that the locals there, there is some hostility. Straight up. They go, salt the slugs. Right. I was like, That's what we oh. always say. So did you hate the students there? What was your vibe with the students in the college? Basically, you're taught to hate them. Really? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. Uh, but there is a hostility over ownership of the beach because they're the ones who mm. spend the most time there and then they help clean it and certain things they treat it as if it's their you mean own the beach. beach. The surfers? Yeah, the surfers and anyone who just, just uses the beach. Yeah, and so I think it, it stems with just frustration of having to share something that isn't even theirs. So I think they're like confused as far as taking ownership for something we all own, mm. you know, and like we should all have access to the beach. Doesn't matter if you live over the hill. Mm. But the end of the day you know there's just a i think that comes with any beach town there's a certain hostility with over the hill valleys the slugs and so right. i'm just here i'm here to just kind of stop that just let them Let's know the the beaches for everybody here, let them come on down you're gonna get jump your, in there you're gonna get your ass beat next time you're that, at Santa Cruz. those locals are gonna be I'm not happy. scared of anyone well there's some crazy low i almost got dude i was at the beach actually it happened at the beach i was there with my friends and some lo- some drunk local guys were trying to start some fights with us. Where were you and we doing? had to bounce. Nothing. We were minding our own business. And they were trying to mack on our girls. Holy shit. Really? I mean, either weren't together at the time. Wow. But there were some girls there. I guess I've never experienced it, but I wasn't there enough. And <laughs> I didn't experience too much of it, to be honest with you. Good. Um, I'm glad to hear that, man. I hope it was a, a good time for you. I've guys. always wondered what it's like to grow up there. Yeah, it's it's a trippy place to grow yeah, up. Yeah, it totally. is. <laughs> uh, well, places that can produce all of our trees got to be a fucking wild spot. <laughs> we had some wild days. I'll say that. But at the end of the day, it's definitely, um, there's a, a darker side to it that's pretty plagued in drug use. I, yes. I You know, me and Ela frequently go that there. That shocked me when I moved there because I moved there from Israel. Right. So and... that was the first place you moved from Israel. Yeah. Wow. So how was that coming from Israel? Not, I mean, I loved it. I still do. It's, it's my a favorite special place. place you but know? what is. you just said, so true. Like it's like everyone there does drugs and like serious. You know, right. even my uh, a lot of my college friends ended up like smoking heroin, right? And getting yeah. into Biggest some gnarly thing. shit. And it's I was like, not Damn. just like oh, a little joint. It's like serious. That's what you do in the woods, like Bonnie Doon. These motherfuckers go and start cooking meth up there. Like one, yeah. it's like something in the air up in those pine trees or whatever, those redwoods. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Something's off, dude. I can't put my finger down it. It's like Twin Peaks, but meth instead of, like, supernatural shit. You gotta stay away from that <laughs> stuff, man. <laughs> but, um, I, me and Elo often go back there. Yeah. And I feel like I've noticed it more and more. Like, there's this area where downtown on, on, uh, Pacific, like, over the bridge. What's the name of that street there? The bridge that connects to Pacific? It's like, uh, Mission or some shit. I don't know. Dude, I'm not good with names. Well, anyway, there's an area know. there that's like really just seedy. It's seedy is all hell, man. It's crazy shit. But it's a beautiful place. and it's, Yeah. It's just, you know, I think there's a lot of access to a lot of drugs there. And I think that's the same everywhere. But, you know, I think there's something about it's kind of a bubble. People get stuck totally in there and they're like, you know, it's a good place to get stuck. People are going to get stuck somewhere. So it's like it's a beautiful place to get stuck at the end of the day. But yeah. I think there's definitely a bubble uh, yeah. syndrome there. Yeah, absolutely. But it bet great Mexican food. I incredible. Mean, holy Mexican. God. Oh my God. But in general, the food is incredible I love there. The food there. Unbelievable. 
You got a favorite restaurant there? The Bagelry. The you Bagelry? Ever been to the Bagelry? Yo, what no. the F? Where's the Bagelry? That's my spot, dude. Uh, there's a couple of them. I, uh, they're all across Santa Cruz, but it's just like the main bagel spot. I always hit them up. What's up?